Abel Guillen with Legacy FC. I'm here with Charles Bird, Kid Dynamite. He's going to be fighting Legacy 54, Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma this Friday. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, your last fight. You know, um, well, your last couple of fights. You look really good. Uh, Evan Thompson, especially. Um, nice KO there. It was something we hadn't seen you in a little bit. Um, but came okay, with a splash right there. So talk a little bit about how that fight went. Evan, you know, is a pretty big name. Um, but you kind of ended the fight uh, pretty quick. Yeah, the Evan, Marti uh, the Evan Thompson fight was uh, <clears throat> actually my first fight. Fight after a year layoff. So I was real anxious. I went up in a way to fight at 185. I was only fighting about 170. And, uh, you know, I was just willing to take the opportunity to fight a taller guy. I know he was a striker. That's kind of the matchup I was looking for at that time. And I just wanted to showcase my skills. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I, I was aiming to get a finish with the hands, and that's, that's the end of what I got. Like, yeah, the rest is history, really. Yeah. That uh, that right right hand sent him crashing to the ground, and it was pretty much over. It kind of had like everybody in shock, I guess. It's not shock as in thinking that you couldn't do it, just like in, in like awe of what had just happened. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't easy. Yeah, Evan, Evan was a. Uh, he understood range very well, and it was it was kind of hard to get get close to him at first, but then you know I ended up finding. Find the right the right distance and was able to land that, that overhand right. So okay. and the, this last time, you know, to be honest, uh, um, you were supposed to fight Lovato. Lovato mm -hmm. Jr. was a fight that um, I, a lot of us were, were looking forward to because Lovato, you know, obviously all BJJ, yeah. everything, you know, he's the man. You know, everybody talks about him. But then we, then we all knew what you had in your hands. You know, the dynamite in there, and uh, mm -hmm. um, so we were kind of looking forward to that fight. Kind of talk about a little bit what happened there. Yet, yeah, you know, you were forced to pull out. Yeah, the Lovato fight. I mean, I was just uh, I was really excited for the opportunity. You know, Lovato's a legend in the uh, BJJ world. So I mean, I was just, you know, looking to try to elevate my status and take on a very, very tough opponent. Um, close to the fight, I had an injury um, that I didn't know that I had at the time and I was training. It was kind of hazardous for me to continue with the fight. So uh, through the doctor's orders, they told me to just kind of, you know, I had to pull out for the fight basically. But, um, yeah, I was training with the injury. I didn't even know I had it. So. Yeah, yeah, but all's good. Everything's feeling good. Yeah, everything's good. I'm, I'm healthy now. I'm feeling really good. I'm ready for uh, this fight in the next week. So yeah, I'm feeling very, very. I'm feeling good. Feeling really good. That's good. That's good. And then, so Tulsa, Oklahoma. You got Trey Houston. Mm -hmm. um, pretty solid record. Yeah. Uh, the guy he just seems to be a little bit more. Um, you know, I think we talked a little bit about it, but more with the arm bar. He has some KOs, uh -huh. uh, but. If, if you had to choose, you know, he, he, he likes that arm bar. He likes to stick that up. I did see you guys training a little bit, uh, trying to defend the arm bars here. Is that something, uh, is that like solely what you kind of just been like trying to prevent? Or like what, uh, what else have you been looking for as far as training? I mean, I, I try to prepare for the best of everybody. Mm -hmm. So I really expect him. Uh, I know a lot of his finishes that came through arm bar, but I mean, I'm really just expecting the best of Trey Houston. Uh, I don't underestimate anybody. Um, my last fight, I had a really tough fight with a guy from my RFA. Yeah. So, I mean, I just kind of approach every fight now, uh, knowing that I'm just trying to showcase my skill. Um, I know I can compete in every aspect of this, this sport. So, I'm just, just really just trying to stay sharp. So, I know his finishes come off his back. He has quite a few finishes. I know uh, he does have some uh, TKOs and KOs. But, I'm really just preparing for the best of him, and he's going to get the best of me. So, so and just you know, for the people at home that uh, don't really know what goes on as far as like come fight week, um, it's going to be in Tulsa, Oklahoma. What, what does your schedule look like? You know, going into the fight, like you, you get to Tulsa early, or is it something you just show up on, on like day of? No, kind of I, I think I arrive in Tulsa on Wednesday, so uh, I'll stay Wednesday, and then. I try to finish the last little weight that I have to cut off and then show up, you know, then obviously weigh-ins are Thursday. So, yeah, I'll arrive probably early Wednesday and then try to cut the rest of the weight that I have and try to relax from that point on. That's good. That's good. Feel up. Also, like, one of the last things we want to just talk a little bit about is about your shirts, your kids' dynamite shirts. Yeah. Uh, definitely, I saw it on Facebook. And for all those that haven't seen it yet, check out his Facebook. He's got a... Uh, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice shirt out there. Just give him a little bit of details on that. Yeah, if you go to Not Dead Yet Apparel, um, um, yeah, it's a shirt. Most of the proceeds, pretty much all the proceeds, are going to uh, the Traffic 911. It's, it's um, excuse me, I'm the no, no worries. Uh, <clears throat> basically, just going to it's a nonprofit, basically going to stop uh, sex trafficking for minors. So um, it's a good cause. It's a very nice shirt. The artist who designed it. I mean, you know, I'm a little bit of a comic book nerd. Me and my, me and my son, we kind of play into the, uh, the Marvel DC thing pretty well. So, you know, it's just, you know, I just like to just 
just be myself, really. So the shirt is, you know, playing off the kid dynamite, superhero theme, and it's going towards a good cause. So, you know, if you can support it, it would be greatly appreciated. Definitely check out his shirt. And Legacy 54, Charles Kidd Dynamite Bird is going to be facing Trey Houston this Friday, AXS TV. Uh, if you can't, you know, make it to Tulsa, check it out on AXS TV. It's going to be a good fight.